The next award category is Professional Services for Outstanding International Success in the Professional Services. This award is sponsored by the Australian Trade and Investment Commission and presented by Andrew McKellar, Chief Executive Officer of the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The ACCI is the 2023 Australian Export Awards judging sponsor and a long-standing supporter of the program. Thank you, Andrew. Let's meet the Professional Services finalists. I'm delighted to be uh, here this evening uh, to present the Professional Services Award on behalf of the Australian Chamber of Commerce uh, and Industry. And the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry is just one part of a national network of state and territory chambers of commerce. Um, and they are very much out there supporting Australian businesses to achieve export success uh, in a number of different ways, providing advisory services, supplying uh, vital uh, things like certificates of origin. So uh, don't hesitate to get in contact uh, with your state or territory chamber of commerce. Join, join them, please. Um, business working together is always stronger. And we are proud to continue our long association with the Australian Export Awards. Um, it's 60 years out of 61 that the uh, Australian Chamber of Commerce has been associated uh, with these awards and we're very proud of that. Uh, tonight's finalists in this category come from a range of different areas, uh, from education, medical services, uh, information security and more. So I think it's a great selection. Uh, on behalf uh, of Aki, I would like to congratulate all the finalists uh, represented here tonight, but there can only be one winner in this category. Uh, and the Australian Export Award for Professional Services this year goes to Medical Rescue. Oh, wow. Well. I, um, I should have learnt from last year to uh, put some words down, but sadly, no. Um, we were just a couple of humble cl clinicians about 12 or 13 years ago who saw a gap in the market where we thought that we could provide some really high-level professional services in the clinical industry. And we started our international air ambulance based out of South East Queensland, and that has continued to grow over the past uh, 12 and 13 years. So now where we have over 300 staff in Australia and as of this year, just shy of 50 uh, staff based internationally. Over the past 12 months since winning this award last year, uh, through the help of Austrade and, and TIQ, our international operations have, have grown significantly um, where we've got a permanent base now in Saudi Arabia providing clinical services to uh, a widespread um, client base of the oil and gas industry over there. The Australian product is something that really is world renowned around the world. Um, and that comes from the start of, you know, look, when we look at our, our clinicians and the education that we receive here and the training and the, the products that are, they produce, that um, <clears throat> we really couldn't do it without the help of our, of, of our really cool staff. Um, but also thank you to our, to our families and, and loved ones who really sacrifice a lot of, um, of time to put up with our crazy ideas and our late night meetings and all our time away. So um, to those in the room who are, who are loved ones and family here, uh, thank you very much. Congratulations again. Good to have you back. Thank you. Um, it's an extraordinary business. You are in the news the whole time. The, uh, the baby lucky. Baby lucky, yeah. Evac from Bali. Student, remember, who ate rat poison in Taiwan. You brought them back, yeah. soldier that got brain damage in, in Bali, brought them back. The pressure on your team must be immense in those situations. How do you cope with it all? I guess it comes from being a clinician-led business that even just hearing those names now gives us the goosebumps that when you hear those calls come in, the requests come in going, how are we going to solve the unsolvable cases? You know, Baby Lucky was, for example, she was you know, a very poorly managed um, baby over in Bali and needed the expertise of you know, the Australian clinician system. 
and <clears throat> just the even seeing the videos and, and photos of her parents when our clinicians walked into the room yeah. and they heard that Australian voice, which is the uh, which is the, the Australian product, and seeing the relief and going, okay, my baby's safe now. Yeah. Um, it's it's truly humbling, and that's what keeps us going. That's what keeps our team going every day. It's just fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes.